Good morning, I hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens, I'm in Islamabad, Pakistan, and we just arrived late last night. We're staying at the Serena Hotel, uh, and today we're gonna go on an Islamabad food tour. We're gonna go to some of the famous restaurants, eat some of the dishes that you have to eat when you are in Islamabad. Islamabad is the capital city of Pakistan. But before we do anything, we're gonna go have breakfast at the hotel first. All right, let's get the day started. Hello, you ready for breakfast? Okay, let's go. Good morning. Good morning, good, thank you. Thank you so much. I went straight for the good stuff, the Pakistani curries. Beef keema in particular is what I'm looking forward to eating. Uh, but there's chicken curry, there's some potato curry, and some uh, chickpeas. Thank you very much. I, I gotta pace myself though because we have a lot to eat today. Okay, let me try that beef keema. Oh, that's delicious. You've got the minced meat. You've got a bunch of spices in there. You can taste the chili. Um, and then it's like juicy and slightly oily. Keema is a wonderful dish. Chickpeas are always good in Pakistan. They're always so creamy. What kind of juice is this thing? <clears throat> no orange juice, but it might have like some pineapple or something. It tastes like mixed fruit. <sighs> Thank you very much. There's not a huge selection of fruit though. Um, maybe due to the, the season we are in. <laughs> One more cup of coffee for good measure. We're gonna go back to the room, get ready, um, and then we gotta head out and we're gonna begin this Islamabad food tour today. In comparison to other cities that we've been to so far in Pakistan, Islamabad is so much more spread out. Um, it's more organized. And, and that's because it's a very modern city. It's a very newly developed city. We drove over to the university. This is one of the main universities in Islamabad. There's a Daba, a local restaurant that we're gonna go to that is, it's legend, it's reached legendary status for their food. Uh, right outside of the Asian Civilizations Excited. Institute. Excited yeah, for this. Very excited to visit the Taba. Even being someone from Islamabad, I have never visited this Taba before, so I am as excited as you are, Mark. Cool. You walk in here, it's kind of like a seating section all under the trees. It's even like a whole market, so you can buy fruits and vegetables. There's restaurants. It's kind of like a, a chill spot for students and everyone, and everyone else who's not students who just wants to come and eat and hang out, like us. Who wants to pretend we're students. <laughs> <laughs> Assalamu alaikum. I think this is... Assalamu alaikum. Mr. Anis is the son of Mr. Majid. Okay. Mr. Majid who basically opened this tower. You see everything is... Wow. Good. That looks amazing. So what is that then? This is a barbecue fry. Barbecue so we, fry. We first make it uh, barbecue, then uh, wow. then then fry in a, a specific gravy. Yes. That looks incredible. Nice. Yes. Nice. Yes. 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 Ah, that's the one. <laughs> the most famous fry. Right. This place is so cool, and it's actually called Majid Huts. They serve a variety of different dishes. They have all the stews and the curries in the back here prepared. But then when you do order, he reheats them over that jet flame. It's so laid back too. It has a laid back feeling to it. They're just they're just churning out the orders right now. Oh man, I'm getting so hungry. Crisis. Crisis, yeah, they call it crisis. They call it crisis. Here comes the. Yes. 
<laughs> Thank you, man. Thank this you. Awesome. And we're also sitting here with Majid's son, yes, who yes. is the owner of the restaurants. This is one of the coolest restaurants so, I've yeah. been to in, okay, yeah, in Pakistan. Mm -hmm. that means once you order, it, it, it makes fresh and uh, then it delivers to the uh, customer. So uh, people all around here, they, they like our food very much, very much. This is the reason. <laughs> Great. Hey, there's so many dishes to try. Let's try the kebab fry first. Yes. So they take the kebab. Yes. First, the kebab is grilled, barbecued. <laughs> Um, and then they stir fry it with like a looks like a tomato y curry. Exactly. So, so the dish which, which is on the other side, uh, that is called uh, chicken laziza. Chicken laziza, yes. This is malai boti and this is chicken laziza. But now we gotta try the boneless chicken, two different boneless chicken dishes. Yes. Okay, next dish is the chicken malai boti, which is the cream sauce. Oh. Straight up cream of chicken. Oh wow. That's like rich and hearty, creamy. Creamsicle. <laughs> Mr. Ali, how is that? Oh, it's amazing, mom. It's really nice. The kebab masala is, is out of the world. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> the owner is going to explain to us quickly how the name Crisis, the Crisis dish, came about. It's basically, Crisis is a dish evolved over the time. So, this is how the, the student of management says in the late, you can say, 80s. Uh, they came, they take classes uh, up to the 4 o'clock and uh, at 4 o'clock when they get hungry and uh, at, at our space we normally close uh, lunch hours at 4 o'clock so ah, okay. all the things normally finish so so what they did that they asked that uh, put all the things together and mash it and then wrap it in the into the egg so people call it crisis you know and in a crisis moment there is a crisis dish so this is this is the history when there's a crisis yeah. moment this yeah. is a crisis dish that is the quote yeah. it's 4 p.m you've just finished your classes you get to your favorite restaurant majid hut and unfortunately they're just closing down and all the dishes are done so what do you do you look at the bottom of the pans and you see Oh, there's still some leftovers. Let's scrape all that goodness off the bottom of the pans, refry it, and and shove it in an omelet and call it the crisis. Cheers, Islamabad. Islamabad. Crisis. Crisis. <laughs> you can taste like yesterday's aloo fry. It's just like it's warming. That's what it is. It's warming. If you were in a crisis, that would. That would solve your crisis. Okay, I'm gonna try that chicken lazizi now. This is the other chicken curry. Oh, oh that is stunning. <laughs> Dude, it's so good. It's like the same creaminess as the other one, as the boti, but the but it has like maybe tomato tomatoiness in it. <laughs> yeah, cool. <laughs> You're just gonna wanna lick your fingers and lick the plates, oh, yeah. lick I everything did. here. I did just lick each finger. <laughs> <laughs> Ali is still stuck in the crisis. Ali is still stuck in the crisis. It does like a quite close one. Dip into the chutney. Mm. Mm. Chutney is delicious too. I like the yogurty mintiness. I think the final dish we ordered, but we did actually order one more dish because it was something I, I needed to try. But this is the final order dish on our plate right now is the dal. They have just excelled at their dal. What I like is it's not too heavy on the desi ghee so that you can taste the creaminess of the actual lentils. Tastes like some fried garlic on top of it. This one is chicken karahi fried. Looks like the same as the kebab, but just a rich chicken, just a rich tomato-y looking sauce. Mm. Mm. The tomato sauce and the, the coriander comes in really nicely. I gotta crunch so the chili sauce. Yeah. Yeah. You just end your day right here, cancel all further plans. <laughs> <laughs> so right. Bye. Bye. <laughs> And nice, <laughs> nice to see you here. Nice to Please see you. Please do visit so our Pakistan and scare the house. Thank you so much. Yeah, I met up with. What was your name again? Akbar Akbar Hayal. 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 Akbar Hayal. He watches our videos. <laughs> um, they're just sitting down at Majid Huts to eat. And what do you think about this restaurant? It's a very good place, and you also have tasted the foods. Yes, we just we just finished. It was so good. It's really a pleasure to see you here in Pakistan. And I was like, oh, 
<laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, and they have invited me to sit down and eat again with them. So let's, we gotta taste the, this is, oh, this is a dish we didn't Bean. order. So maybe we should try Lobia. the beans. Lobia. 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 Okay. okay. Yeah, just break some roti from here. Yeah. Mm. It's really good. It has a smoky flavor to it. Yeah. <laughs> and you can see, of course, they ordered the crisis. Thank you very much for coming. It's been nice. Thank you so much. Okay. That was, yeah, one of the greatest meals we've had in Pakistan. And they're so friendly. They're so nice. What a stunning place. It's worth coming to Islamabad just to eat at Majid Hut. All right, we are on our way to the next spot today. I will never forget the crisis we just encountered. All right, we had a little bit of a... Uh, hold on, focus. We had a little bit of a unplanned afternoon and we had to run some errands and then it got kind of dark and then we went to a restaurant but they were closed but we're, so we got to go back to get them. But in the meantime, we decided to come up to the top of the mountain uh, to a restaurant, it's called Monal. Okay, security checkpoint, hold on. Okay. Check. Thank you very much. It's called Monal but it's, it's one of the must visit restaurants because of the view. It's kind of cloudy today, kind of like um, the air isn't the clearest, but this is the view of Islamabad down below. And then, yeah, it's a very nice restaurant. And then, yeah, unfortunately it got dark right as we arrived here, the sun went down, uh, but still an impressive view. It was definitely worth it to come here just to get the view. But now we can go eat Afghani kebabs. <laughs> <laughs> careful from the wall. Okay, be careful. Uh, this is kebab. Kebab. This is one of the places that I really wanted to come in Islamabad. Uh, so Actually, Ali and all, I came here. All these are made uh, by my brother. Okay, the kebab. Yeah, he's professional. He has been in Dubai for training people. Wow. Yeah, he is younger than me, but uh, he knows very much about kebabs. And very when, much. When did your M maybe your, your family came from Afghanistan? Huh? Maybe. It's about 37 years. With the fan going, um, he's just working those kebabs. The meat aroma, the smoke is it's just going all 30, the way down 30, the... 30 years that I'm making this. You've place. been making kebabs 30 yeah, years? I was at the age of six. When wow. we first here, uh, I started making kebabs. Start making kebabs at the age of six. I can't stand myself any longer. We've got to try these kebabs. Why don't you have dinner with us? Thank you. Sure. Love it. Come on. Such a pleasure to meet you, sir. Thank you. A pleasure right, nice to meet you. you. Hello. Hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Essen. 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 Nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. Nice Thank to meet you. Thank you so you. much. Uh, he watches our videos and then he's invited us to sit with him and his friends who are all here eating the kebabs. Such an amazing atmosphere. Such a friendly place. The owner is kind. Um, and. Yeah, the kebabs just smell unbelievably good. And we're getting the full like smoky aromatherapy at the same time. And I think they're doing some sighing behind us. So every now and then you will hear a loud sighing sound. It's totally acceptable to grab a skewer and eat it right off the skewer. You can see there's one chunk of tomato in it. Wow, that's your tomato. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. Oh, that is wonderful. There's so much fat in there. That's what makes it so juicy. That's what gives it so much flavor. You can dip it right. Oh, thank you. Oh, you take it out. Oh, thank you very much. Okay, cool. All right, and there's also a chutney that you can eat with the kebab as well. So you gotta, it's easier to pull it off the skewer though. Oh, oh that just, that bumps it up. Again, the chutney is not like overpowering. It's almost fruity. It's not like an overpowering sauce. You still taste the full flavor of the vibrance of the meat, the salty meat, but then just with that fruity cooling sensation. Oh, it, it just complements the meat. That one is the tikka? Cheers. Cheers. This one is the tikka, which is the pieces. Oh yeah. Really good too. And that's like, I mean, that's more of the pure meat, the tough, a little bit tougher, but so flavorful. Mm. I can taste the ginger in that chutney on that bite. Because I dug 
Kind of deeper. It's Amazing also our food. friend's birthday. Oh, okay. So, so it'll actually be a great birthday present if you can wish him. Yes. Happy birthday. Thank you so much. I'm glad that we got to celebrate all together. Like I said, okay. Pakistan is a mashup of different cultures mm -hmm. of the region. You have Pashtuns in, in the northwest, Punjabis in the east, Sindhis in the southeast, etc. Yes. So this is a lot more, uh, a lot closely related to the Afghani cuisine. This ah, is basically okay. Afghani cuisine. Okay, but especially Kabul, from Kabul, Kabul, yes. Kabul area. Okay, Kabul uh, Pulau. And again, I see those kebabs on top and there. I think that's carrots on top. Oh wow. Oh that's spectacular. The meat it's the same kebab. Then you've got the rice that's like so like individual, each grain. It's really really long grain rice. You've got these carrots which are caramelized, kinda of sweet and salty, and then you've got these taste like raisins. But with that kebab on top. Oh that's incredible. Thank you so much. Great pleasure meeting Great to meet you. Thank you. you. Thank you so much. You. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. It was nice to meet Thank you. you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, will you tell me your page? That is what I love so much about traveling. Uh, that was just uh, an experience I will never forget. And, oh man, those kebabs. When you are in Islamabad, this is a place you don't want to miss. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just gonna, uh, for dinner tonight, we are at the Serena in Islamabad, Artha Hotel that we're staying at, and we're eating at Dawat Restaurant, which is their um, Pakistani restaurant at the hotel. The chef is actually just gonna take care of us, so we're just gonna see what he brings out. It's kind of romantic because it's just Joel and I for dinner. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> You told me you like spicy. Yes. <laughs> but we told them we like spicy. They brought us the entire basket a, of chilies. A free appetizer. <laughs> yeah, they're cool. They're very cool. Jinga pakora? Jinga pakora. Yeah, appetizers. Shrimp pakora. Shrimp pakora. I normally know pakora as the like, deep fried fritters. Um, but shrimp, that's even better. They smell so good. Mm. With a like tamarind sauce on the side. Yeah. That's delicious. And that sauce looks delicious. Oh my gosh. Really juicy shrimp too. Nicely spicy. Mm. Mm. Nice. Okay, next up we have a lamb soup. Yeah, you can immediately smell that meat. Oh, 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 that is just effortless tenderized meat. It's so soft. Mm. Oh my Whoa, goodness. what are they bringing? Oh, man. Oh. Oh. Thank you, Chef. Thank you, sir. It's my pleasure. Um, and then, oh, biryani on the side they brought us as well, which is covered in a pastry. A pastry um, cover. A seal in all the juices and smoky flavor. The onions in there. Yeah, that's fantastic. Okay, next up, just try the chops. Oh, well. <laughs> I can taste fat. There's that fat layer. Oh, well. No. Got some good meat too. Well, fish always. Final dish is the biryani, which is from KP province. Um, it, yeah, it's crusted with that dough that it holds in all the flavor. Mm. Mm. Same ridiculously tender lamb, the crunchy cashews. It's so aromatic. You taste like the sweet spices, the cardamom, the cinnamons in there, the clove. We got some desserts now. This one is resmalai, and this one is like an entire trough. And this is all to myself, by the way. Joel got his very own trough. <laughs> Look at that. Whoa. Whoa. Tastes like, like deep fried bread underneath, which is kind of soaked up with the 
It's a pudding. Like kind of a, a nutty pudding. Oh yeah. Okay, I think I've tried this before. And you can see that little saffron on top. Yeah, that's really good. Soaked up with that milk. You taste the pistachio in there. You taste the cardamom. And that completes dinner. <sighs> oh, oh, that really sinks down. Oh, that's fantastic. Uh, but we finished with dinner. Dinner was delicious. And I wanna say a big thank you to Serena, Islamabad Serena Hotel for hosting us. Tomorrow we continue on to go further north uh, towards Peshawar and also to visit some of the areas around that region. So I'm gonna end the video for today right now. I wanna say a huge thank you for watching today's video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below, I'd love to hear from you. And if you're not already subscribed, remember to click subscribe and also click that little bell icon so that you get notified the next video that I publish. Thanks again for watching. Goodbye from, good night from Islamabad, and I'll see you on the next video.